What's up, people? This is Echo One Two Two Four from Frostside Entertainment or Respawn. I don't give a crap what you call it. Anyway, we are playing Europa Universalist Three: Divine Winds. Oh yeah. So anyway, this game is basically real-time um, strategy game. Basically, take control of any empire in the world. Just give me a sec. I don't think I tampered with the starting end. Okay, apparently I did. Apparently I tampered with the starting and ending data. Or at least the ending date. Because it's you're actually it's actually possible to tamper with it. So thirteen ninety nine is a beginning and apparently it goes on until like nineteen ninety nine or something like that. So you can play any country in the world, take over their army, pretty much control the entire world, whatever you want. I mean, you can be like these itty bitty countries here. Like, then you can be like these like powerful countries. Um, still thinking what to do. Still don't like um I just don't like England's way of having to defend like this itty bitty piece of land and these lands from France and so I'm just gonna be France for this time. Everything else should be okay. Let's play as France. And I think my game volume is like completely gone, so give me a sec. It is. Okay, there we go. I got a problem, alright. Let's see, we got two armies, one in 13,000, one with 1,000. I don't think we got really have any, um... Still forgot what this says. This is prestige, right? And this is like... Okay. Get visor. What do we have? Missionary. Oh, let's get one thing to build. Um, I think you know you need to get army tradition. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know why you're not allowed to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go towards um, centralization. Alright. Let's get some men. Some infantry. Since they already have so much cav. Um, money wise, it needs to go. Alright, let's begin. Real time, the world is now in motion. Got an offer from Portugal. Alright. Uh, Carcass Ballet against. We have lost a Carcass Ballet against Austria. Alright. We've gained an Alliance Casas Ballet. Give me a sec on that. Who did we get it against? You? <laughs> I am kind of tempted to do that, but then again, 
it's right next to um, it's right next to England, so I'd rather not. Let's go here. Um, center of trade. Um, top priority. And that should send all of our merchants. So all these people over here are my vassals, like all around here, and um, uh, one of my objectives, or it's going to be f kind of like missions that they're going to give me, is I'm going to have to annex these guys, like force uh, annexation. And by the way, I have a sprite uh, downloaded content, so the guys in Western Europe or in Western culture look different. Out. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on a sec. Hungary declares war on Mod. Modovia. Somewhere I don't care about. Grants military access, those two are near me. Golden Horde declares on Moldovia all the way in Russia. That's pretty much a um, holy war that happens all the time. What's over here? Switzerland grants military access. Or how she does. Um, military access. Declaration of war against the Byzant uh, Byzantine. That's not my concern. Um, military access. England declares war over here. Naples declare war somewhere over here. And Aragon declares a war on whoever these guys are. Wherever the. Oh, that's just right there. And you're a. You're allied with Denmark, Burgundy, and. I need some allies. Okay, let's up pace a little. Are you not recruiting any more troops? You are not. Japan was discovered. Is that just a little bitty piece of iron man? So now that's 17,000. Got enough infantry. How's money? Money's doing good. Let's go to centralization.
was the second? Oh god. Well, they were annihilated. Okay, general. destroyed. Let's get to the capital and repel them. down south. Um, Offered Alliance Milan. This is still as high as ever. Got 21. No, my my mistake. Yeah, that's 21,000. Fail. All right, we got 21,000. Let's get some land knights in here. Let's get some more infantry. And 8,000 should be. 